False positives can occur with many kinds of tests, and now hospital officials are telling us it's happening with the coronavirus test as well. That's why it's so important if you have any symptoms, you need to act as if you do have the virus. We don't treat the test result, we treat the patient. McLaren Health Management Group President and CEO Bart Buxton says early testing for the coronavirus created a lot of challenges for healthcare workers. There was such a bottleneck. The, the early testing, we were waiting sometimes seven to 10 days. Buxton says about 20% of patients who were tested early on received false negatives for coronavirus tests that were sent to outside labs. We've sent them out and they initially came back negative. We tested them again and they were positive. We continue to treat, treat the patient and treat the symptoms. So to me, and, and I think to everybody else in healthcare, that's, that's part of normal business. Buxton says the same thing can happen with flu testing. Every patient has to be treated as if they have the virus. He also says now that hospitals have the equipment to process their own coronavirus tests, they're getting test results in two to three days. We can run approximately 200 tests a day. There's another phase of testing coming in this pandemic called antibody testing. Right now, labs are doing what's called antigen testing, where they're analyzing particles of the active virus in your system. Buxton says soon labs will test your blood to see if you have antibodies to the virus. Once you get antibodies, your body has already shown that it, it's beginning to deal with the virus and it can deal with it a little bit better. And that's really the type of stuff that's going to help us with vaccinations in the future and also treatment. Buxton says the novel coronavirus isn't really novel anymore. It's going to be around for a long time to come. This is not over and we need to continue to be socially very conscious about what we do because that's what's going to limit the spread of this disease. As testing turnaround times continue to get better and better, health experts say good, accurate testing will continue to be key in helping to slow the spread of the coronavirus. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.